Hey what's up guys, welcome to a new video, my name is Prince Mason. Today we want to talk about Godox and how I feel like they changed the photography industry. Because, you know, like I was just thinking about it some days ago and I thought to myself, without Godox, I probably wouldn't have done photography to the level that I'm doing it right now. Or maybe I would have quit at a certain point because, you know, probably wouldn't have been able to afford the lights that I needed to take my photography to a new level. But you know what? Let's get straight into today's video and let's talk about it. Now, today's video is not sponsored by Godox, but I'm going to like put a disclaimer out there. Godox has sent me lights in the past and I have used the lights and, you know, I didn't return the lights. So the lights are still with me. So yes, um, you might think that there's a certain bias towards this company, but there really isn't, to be very honest. You know, if you go on YouTube and you watch videos about Godox and you know like their lights and, and all that stuff you hear a lot of photographers say amazing things about them and a lot of photographers always come to Godox's defense and it's because of what they do and what they offer in the photography industry so just put that back in your mind today's video is not sponsored by Godox it is sponsored by you guys so every single one of you that goes out to buy my skin tone lots my retouching essentials pack signs off for my course you guys are the reason why this youtube channel is still going so thank you so much by the way if you don't know what those things are check the link in the description below a uh, amazing presets amazing um retouching actions that will help you retouch better and retouch faster so link will be in the description below i'll just put a card somewhere up here so definitely check it out so let's talk about why i think godox changed the industry this is just going to be like a talking head video um in 2012 2011 when i started photography i didn't have a studio but i think about 2014 i finally started working in a studio called trip city and we had this big lights 300 watt lights these lights were huge right and they were godox lights right and um i remember then the people that sold lights to us used to rebrand the lights in their name if you're in nigeria you know this guy called okay japan so you know he used to have this okay japan lights but he bought them from godox and since he put in large orders to write his name on it and those were the lights that we knew as godox lights right now a while after that while i don't know the exact date but i know somewhere in 2013 2014 godox put out the um, I think it was the AD360 or the AD360 Mark II and I think a year or two years later I got that light and that light was affordable. Now the problem that light had was it looked like a very bulky flash. I'll probably put a picture somewhere on the screen so you guys can see. It looked like a bulky flash but the amazing thing about that light was it was affordable, very affordable. I can't remember how much it was but I know we probably spent about $300 on the light that time. It was affordable it was a 300 watt light oh no it wasn't up to it i think it was the 80 is it 8360 mark II or the 8180 i can't remember what it was to be very honest but it was this light and it was affordable it was powerful and the best part about it was it used the battery so you could take this light anywhere you wanted you could shoot outdoors it just changed everything because if you wanted to buy a light like that that you could use outdoors you either got like the young no flashes and those weren't powerful enough to you know overshadow the sun um even in the evenings you know or you had to go buy the photos now we had photographers in nigeria that could afford the photos back then and a lot of photographers around the world that were like working professionals could afford to buy the photos but coming from where i was coming um from i could barely afford a camera and a lens talk less of a light that was worth two thousand dollars and a set of light that probably worth like over five thousand dollars and that was what you were getting if you wanted to get into pro photos so the difference between a professional photographer and a photographer who um was just starting out was huge because you couldn't afford to get those um the, the same gear that the other photographer was getting and that's where godox came in godox kind of like shrunk that gap right they came in with amazing light at amazing prices right and that thing put a lot of us in a place where we could actually afford to buy these lights and show our skill and show that look we aren't just ordinary photographers too we're actually good at our craft but the reason why we've not been able to match up with like a lot of these top photographers is because we don't actually have the money or have the gear you know and we can't afford the gear you know that they were using to create like amazing work i'm not saying gear equals amazing work but if you've ever been in a situation where you had to buy either a portfolio light or a godox light then you'd understand what i'm saying now i'm not saying one is better than the other i'm just saying one is a lot more affordable than the other and you know godox still gives you a lot of features that the portfolio lights give you but like i said at a very affordable price right now that light was good but not a lot of people liked it because it was still like in the flash form blah 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 look you know let's just cut to the chase right 
Godox brought out the AD600. Blow my mind. The AD600 BM and the AD600 B. And that was it. That was the light that just. That was the light that changed everything. At this point, you could get like a 600 watt light that used batteries. You could take it anywhere you wanted. It was affordable, like compared to like the photo lights that were about. I think it was like a fourth of the price of the portfolio lights or even maybe like one fifth of i don't know it was really affordable because i think it came in at about 500 dollars or something like that or, or just under 600 dollars and the portfolio lights were going for over 2000 so i mean it wasn't as slick you know maybe it didn't have all the features that the portfolio lights had but the thing about that light was it could do everything so a lot of photographers around the world found it really easy to get into um, photography using this light now before then people were using like the alien bees and those were like the affordable lights but we didn't even have like the alien bees back in nigeria because we still saw them as expensive and you still had to plug them to the wall and blah 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 or you had to buy like big battery packs to be able to use them but i don't even think that technology was available then to be honest but what i just know was godox came with these lights that just changed everything and now for under 600 dollars you could get like a 600 watt light that used batteries and you could shoot anywhere you wanted you could literally well not really like overpower the sun but you could go outdoors shoot it was just great everybody wanted it studio photographers wanted it and this gave that opportunity to a lot of us that were starting photography and we didn't really have money to get into the photography business and be able to compete with people that were like already established right so godox really changed the photography industry if if i would say like what company if i was asked what company over the last 10 years has had the most influence in the photography industry i'll say it's godox godox has had the most influence in the photography industry because they, they they changed how we saw photography lights you know they changed how accessible you know studio strobes and and um outdoor strobes or what they call them mono strobes i don't know they just changed how affordable these lights were and how accessible these lights were and I think they kicked a lot of companies out the way, you know, there were companies that I can't remember what like company that was, but they had to like, you know, pack up and, 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 and Godox became like the real deal. Now I know there are other companies that have come out recently, um, that are making lights. What's the name of this new company right now that makes really nice lights, huh? I can't remember their name. Westcott. Westcott, I think it's Westcott. Westcott comes, I think the FJ series or so. So Westcott has some amazing lights that they are making right now. But we still have to give props to Godox because Godox started this thing and it's because Godox did this thing that, you know, companies like Westcott and maybe other new companies, you know, in the nearest future are going to come up with lights. And now Godox is not just doing that in the photography industry. They're taking that and they're taking it into different aspects of the creative industry you know they're, they're making amazing video lights right now with their vl series and all that so they're a really innovative company and i would say in the last 10 years like i said if they're going to say what company has had the most impact on photography gear wise i mean we'll probably say in general I'll probably say it's probably instagram <laughs> even though a lot of people don't like instagram right now but gear wise i would say it's Godox. Anyways, that's my thoughts on this whole thing. You know, sometimes you just have to give people their flowers. And like I said, Godox, they sent me stuff in the past, but that has n that's not a reason or that's not a reason why I'm making this video and this video is not sponsored by them. I just thought about it and I said, this company has been really influential in the way people do photography right now. Cause you see a lot of people now doing off camera flash and it's such an amazing, you know, thing to see. Like these people are creating amazing photos outdoors. And if Godox didn't come up with this technology and make, not come up with the technology basically, if Godox did not make that technology affordable, we probably still would have been stuck with having to save up to buy like expensive portfolio lights and all that. By the way, I broke my friend's portfolio light and I had to pay, I think it was just like, it was just a hinge. I can't remember what they call that stuff, but the part you put like on the, the light, this thing, and I broke it and I had to pay 400 bucks for that thing. The 8300 i don't think it's up to 400 bucks i literally had to pay 400 bucks for that tiny thing anyways <laughs> that's just something i have about people for photos i shot with their lights they are amazing absolutely love them but just wanted to give props to godox for what they've done in the photography industry anyways this is my thoughts on it if you think any different or if you agree with me you know put it in the comments below let me know i'll be right there to chat with you guys just talk about this whole thing because i'm really excited to hear what you guys think
thank you so much for watching today's video like i said if you want to support this channel you want to support me or you want to retouch better retouch faster definitely definitely check out my retouching essentials pack 14 amazing actions to help you retouch better and retouch faster link is in the description below if you want to color grade your skin tones light skin tones dark skin tones or you want the natural skin tone lots links are in the description below thank you guys really appreciate you guys are amazing man i'm buzzing today thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day guys peace out